You it is good, yo. It's your boy time back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Galaxy Opal. Vince Carter coming to NBA 2K23, my team tomorrow. Obviously, for those of you guys who know me and do support me, you guys know that I love this Vince Carter, okay? And I mean, honestly, I will always have a special place in my heart for Vince Carter cards. I don't know why it is, but I have always, always, always loved Vince Carter. Now, here's the here's, here's the thing, okay? Last year, we really didn't get that second Vince. We got the pink diamond and then the dark matter. This year, we got a pink diamond, and now we're getting that Galaxy Opal, who will be that kind of in-between stage. Now, a couple of things to look at, guys. First things first, his release is incredible. If they put it on quick, going to be even better. MJ Dribble style, really solid as well. I mean, the cards offensively got a lot going for him. Okay, can handle the ball. Obviously, shooting-wise, might even get that Hall of Fame range. We will see. And then playmaker-wise, he's going to be absolutely incredible. The one part that I'm wondering about, because I, in, in one of the most underrated things, at least to me, about Vince Carter is I think he's got a decent player model, player build. I, th I think it's wide enough. I know he's only 6'6 with a 6'9 wingspan, but I think he's wide enough that it, it does go underrated and it's kind of underappreciated. Now, on the other side of it, guys, again, 6'6, I wish he was taller. Because guys like Terry Dishinger do have that little bit of an advantage just because he is that little bit taller. But again, we'll see if he gets Clamp Breaker Hall of Fame, see if he gets Quick First Step Hall of Fame. And the important one, see if he does get Limitless Range Hall of Fame. Because the one thing I will say is, I, we do have a lot of great shooting guards, but how many shooting guards come with Hall of Fame range? Here's your list. J.R. Smith, Zach Levine. That's really your list. Obviously, you got, I guess, Pink Diamond Kobe, Pink Diamond T-Mac, Pink Diamond Clay. Like, there are some good ones, but I think probably he's going to be the best one because I don't like Zach Levine. Now, combine that with Hall of Fame quick first step, okay? And then here's your list. Here's your list, okay? Tracy McGrady, Pink Diamond, J.R. Smith, Galaxy Opal, and Zach Levine, Galaxy Opal. That's it. That, that's that. That's a short list. And you guys know I don't like Zach Levine. J.R. Smith is okay, but I don't necessarily think he's the, that great either. And so that's kind of the big thing for me that I'm holding out hope for is I love Vince Carter's release. And you guys are going to say, I gas it. You're right, I do, because I love Vince Carter and always have in my team. Now, I'm going to go back. Let's see what this Vince looked like. This Vince came out on March 5th. Now, I don't expect him to be probably quite as good. I mean, but here's kind of what we saw, okay? Great all around. He's not going to be this good, but he was a great all around player that had good defense. I mean, it, it was basically that simple. He got the Vince Carter release on quick. That's what I'm really wanting to see. Because if he has the VC base on quick and does get Hall of Fame limitless range, who is going to stop him? That's the big thing for me. Yes, obviously, if you've got Dr. J, if you've got Terry, if you've got Kazzy, those guys are all good. But Vince Carter is going to bring something a little bit different, especially if they soup him up defensively. I don't know if they're going to, but I feel like if we want to make that debate as Vince Carter being one of the best shooting guards in my team, they're going to have to make him able to play great defense. Because otherwise, what does he really give you over those other guys? I mean, offensively, he's got MJ Dribble style. He's got a great release. I mean, he, I can't sit here and say he's bad. I mean, he does have a lot of things going for him. But compared to those other guys, what does Vince Carter really have? maybe a better release and that's just my bias because again i always have that special place in my heart for the vince carter release just because that's what i've always been a fan of honestly guys when we look at this drop from top to bottom i don't think it's great no this that, that, that that's just my opinion which i'm actually kind of glad it's not great because we know this event's coming as well tomorrow. So if there's ever a time they really didn't have to have a great content drop, it was now because this is what the basically main attraction is for tomorrow. Forget the cosmic drop, man, honestly. We got a Galaxy Opal raid that we get to grind for. We've got all of these players in those specific modes. It's like a new season of my team, but just tomorrow. And I actually think this is going to be absolutely incredible. So I get it. If you're not excited about AK, James Harden, Dirk, who's gross, or Vince Carter, I definitely do get that. I definitely do. I mean, let's go back to the content drop we got at this time last year. And this was it. I mean, it wasn't great. I'm just throwing it out there. It wasn't great. So I hate comparing last year to this year, but it kind of is the same. At least with this year's drop to, to, to coming tomorrow, 
We've got we've got this to be excited about. I mean, this this honestly, and I don't like saying it like this, but this really is the main attraction. Forget Vince, forget Dirk. The fact that we can get a free Galaxy Opal shooting guard, Ray Allen, tomorrow, that's where the hype truly is at uh, when it comes down to it. So I guess it, it's just one of those things. We'll see if this is executed as well as I think it could be. And then we'll see, obviously, what that Ray Allen truly is like. But here's my thing, okay? This E... E you know, E. Jinlian card is about as good as you can ask for, okay? And so I'm low-key hoping they don't gas Dirk so this card can be that top power forward in the game for quite some time. Because I like this card. I think this card is absolutely incredible. Good height, really solid defense, defensively, really solid release. I mean, he's got a lot going for him. Yes, I mean, he's, I would like him to be a little bit quicker, but he's, he does got a lot going for him. And, and that kind of, you know, is something that I'm hoping I can use this card for quite some time. So I guess we'll see come tomorrow what they really update cards with. It's hard for them to update Vince too much because the card is already good. But with like Dirk, with Harden, with even AK and his release, what are they going to give these cards? Are they going to give all of those guys quick releases? I mean, are they going to change Shigs? That's what really is going to be very interesting tomorrow morning to locate or load up 2K database and find out. Because let's say they do change Dirk's release and give him like the best release in the game. Well, obviously, then you're looking at maybe the best power forward in the game. And then E. Jillian basically is, is I don't want to say useless, but he basically is. And then even for like a guy like Vince Carter, you know, how does he compare to the MJs of the world? How does he compare to the Terry? How does he compare to Kazzy? Those are the things that I'm very interested in. And for Vince, all it's going to take for me to be high on the card is this release on very quick. Because I've already been a Vince fan for a year after year after year. Even when nobody else is a fan of Vince, I have been. So you guys can see HTB is excited. There's probably going to be a lot of people that are like, um, it went downhill quick. Yeah. I mean, as far as a hype drop, I, I don't really think this is it. But you guys got to remember, last week we got Jai, Yao, and Kawhi. You can't just keep, you know, dropping soup after soup after soup. There's going to have to be some down weeks. So I'd kind of compare this to this kind of drop where we got Tatum, JR. I guess Zion was kind of a hype beast, even though he wasn't great. But kind of like that. One thing I will say is time and time again, they've changed six. Like they changed Zion six. They didn't change really anybody's six here. Maybe Yao's. I don't think they did, but they changed E. Jillian six. So don't be surprised if come tomorrow, AK has even a different release or it's on quick. I don't want to sit here and say Vince is going to get changed much because I don't think he is, but Harden has a different dribble style, maybe even a quick release. Those types of things definitely can happen. Let me know out of these four, which of these guys are you guys most excited for? For me, I mean, it probably is AK, to be honest with you. It's kind of going to sound weird that it's the Pink Diamond, but I think he probably is going to have that highest upside. But you guys can let me know down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.